What's up, guys? Today, we're gonna go a little bit more detailed into Pokey about the whole JDK swap, front wheel drive, you know, no all wheel drive. We'll talk about that in another video, but for right now, check it out, man. You guys ready? Pop this one. So far, where we're at right now, the motor's mocked up in there. Cause right now we're 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 trying to do the headers. I, I have header material. I'm scheduled for D2. I'm scheduled up right now, so we can fab up the headers. But I'm not gonna make next month. I tried. It's not gonna happen. We're still waiting on the ECU main thing headers those are the only two things right now that are holding us back there's a few more things but it's very small but let's go detailed into it right now let's start off with the mounts the mounts right here that i'm using i'm using solid mounts this mount right here it's from hasport it's the the j series it's the ek what is it, J2? It has dual height positionings. You know, I'm at the highest right now, up top. That's the only one that you use from J. You know, you could buy it from them. If you're doing a J to K swap in a 99 EK or whatever EK chassis, you're gonna have to use the J series passenger mount. And then for driver, we ended up using this car back in the day was K series. I had the EK K2 mounts, same thing, dual height. You know, driver mount is EK K2 from Hasport. The rear mount is EK K2. If you can see it, all my mounts are solid. Say if you want to go all wheel drive, the only thing that you're going to be changing is the t-bracket easy you know if you want to go all-wheel drive of course all-wheel drive inner housing and then of course all-wheel drive t-bracket but i'm not i'm front-wheel drive so going back into it even i'm gonna end up using 32 32 millimeter axles i'm gonna end up using i'm gonna I think the last ones I used were RSX base, or I think they were EP3 base, but we'll find out. It's gonna be easy, you know, you can see axle placement if you wanna look into it. You need K series. Of course, you see all suspension. I got blocks, my custom brake lines. All this is stainless steel. I don't like soft line, I hate it, of course. I have to use soft line, but these are gonna get replaced. I'm gonna get some stainless steel braided. If you wanna look in here, I have uh, the Perianto 1.9 gallon fuel cell. Great fuel cell. Even have a crash bar around it. The return, it's dash six. And then in the front, I have a dash 10 inlet. going more to the front I don't know if you guys remembered about pokey I have two weight bars underneath I'm gonna fill them with lead but for right now I'm gonna run them empty but we have two weight bars to help out let's go back over here we'll go back to the motor I'll show you that alternator over here on this side it clears i'm going to be able to run a o oem alternator belt no cutting no nothing it works okay let's go to the water housing or let's go to the water housing real quick go into the water housing OEM, it doesn't work. If you look at the bottom, I had a notch. 
right now we're gonna make another video and I'll go a little bit more detailed into the car explaining half shaft um, showing a little bit inside the car but we'll make another video right now guys